Good afternoon, everybody. Here we go again. Goodness me, can you think? It's Friday again already. I don't even know what, uh, what uh, you know, what goes on. It's just like one day falls into the next and before you know it, here we go again. So, yeah, lovely to have you. Thanks for coming and watching again. And here we are, tile 146. Four more. Tile 150. So I think we've got to look at uh, another special, haven't we, for that? I think tile 150's definitely got to be a cake day. So, uh, yeah, so bear that in mind. So, okay, what are we going to be doing today then? All right. Now, we did a bit of a, um, a more structured tile on Wednesday and fantastic pictures that you're putting on Facebook, certainly with that um, the Celtic sort of design in the middle. And I hope I did it slow enough and sort of and got that across. And it certainly seems that that's the case from what I saw. So I thought we'd go a little bit more organic today. How are we up for that? So, okay, what we're we doing. Um, got my regular tile, going back to a basic colour just for today. Because it's nice to have that option because I've got my pastels here. So I'm going to put a bit of that on. But I've also got my regular pen, pencil tortillon, which is my basics. Here we go. And of course, I've got, um, because there's a couple of bits I might be doing a little bit thicker. So I've got my uh, my thicker pen. I've actually got my brush pen today. So if I show you the difference with the, oh, for the nib, they are look, nice brush. Not everybody likes these, but it, it takes a little bit of practice, I would say. But they're pretty good. I like them. So are we ready for this then? I'm going to turn over. Oh. Oh, Lindsay, you know, black and white's absolutely spot on. It's... Uh, yeah, it's whatever you feel like. I think it's nice to have that choice, isn't it? And and you're not wrong. Either way you go, it really doesn't matter. It's uh, it's just down to your preference and how you feel on the day, I think. And I think yes, if you're feeling a little bit down or fed up, then actually coming in with a colour really can quite liven things up. But all right, here we go then. We're ready. I'm coming straight in with my pen today. Now, I'm going to sort of work... I'm not going to work in the middle. I'm going to work to one edge, but not right in the edge. Okay. Oh, good morning. <laughs> For all the way across the sea. Goodness me, it's lovely, isn't it? Who would have thought that we'd we'd have a family that was so far reaching? It's, uh, it's lovely. Glad you could join us. So here we go. I'm going to put a bubble in. Say a bubble. I'm just sort of sketching it a little bit. So it's not going to be the smallest bubble in the world. And, you know, you might want to use a stencil for this. Or you might want to do it in pencil first. But, you know, I, I kind of like straight in with a pen. And if it's not quite right, it really doesn't matter. There you go. A bit of a bubble. All right. Okay. Oh, Alison, no, it's all right. You catch up at the end. You'll see the finished item. Okay, I'm going to go a bit larger now. So you see where I've done that? Okay. Uh, hey, Karen. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put um, another bubble here. Now, there we go. Same here. You see, they're a little bit, a little bit large-ish. And same here. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, the weekend. I've got a busy one, but I'll be doing uh, my prep for the show Monday, so that'd be quite nice. I do, I do enjoy doing the prep. Now, I'm coming in in the centres of these now, but I've gone a little bit smaller. There we are. Just a nice change, I think, sometimes to do that. Okay. Oh, Joanne, that's thank you so much. Do you know that really touches me because, you know, you're trusting that what you're going to get is, you know, is, is a good product. And that's lovely that you trust me to do that. So thank you. I, I have got some samples here and uh, I think I've got the, uh, yeah, just to show you the stencils. Okay. It has, Julie. Hello. Welcome back. But as you know, people come and go as they have to. You know, work gets in the way and so does life. But, you know, you're always welcome. We don't talk about you when you're not here. <laughs> All right. So you can see that now I'm filling it in. And um, just going a little bit smaller. I'm not. I'm not trying to count how many. So if I don't get the same amount of bubbles, it's fine as long as it's filled. There we go. 
Oh yes, Louise, of course. You always get a sneak peek. It's always, um, yeah, you get to see first. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna aura on the inside there. Now, uh, a little bit of a, a notice. Well, I will put the times on Facebook a little bit later and, and I will post the pictures of the, the lovely samples that the girls have done. Um, but the shows are, uh, there's, there's sort of a few mixed in this time. So I've, I've got two on Monday, and um, which are obviously Christmas. And then I've got two on the following Saturday, which again, it's called the Christmas Encore. So I do have a little a little product there. And then we're back to sort of normality uh, on the 21st, where again, something new. So it's all a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but you know, we, we work with it, don't we? It's not a problem. Okay. All right, so, okay. You can see what I've, I've got going on there now. A little bit of a, it's gonna be a bit of a gem. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little bit of a wavy line see a bit of a wavy line and then another wavy line coming off it and then i think if it's cracked there it might sort of have a bit of an outlet so let's have a bit of a wavy line there too maybe even a couple of little dots around look at that okay all right uh chris pick of the days now that, that's that's been the issue because monday should have been and it's not now um it's all to do with planning and production. It's all, yeah. But on the 21st, it is. So, there's only three shows on the 21st. It's, yeah, crazy. Anyway, here we go. So what I'm going to do, obviously I've turned the tile slightly towards me because what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come, I don't know, say from about here and I'm going to bring it out and round and a bit of a curve. There we go. All right. And then let's do uh, let's do the same here. I'm not going to go to this one. I'm going to go a little bit so sort of small, but again, I'm going to curve out and then back in again. All right. Okay. So let's. Uh, I'm going to do another one of those. I'm going to go bring it in in here, sort of slightly lapping. Doesn't matter if yours is different. There we go. And then same here. Look. So out and then in. Okay, all right, couple there. So I'm gonna come a little bit larger. I'm gonna come back and do something in those in a little bit. It's just that I wanted the, uh, the shape there. Well, hello there. It's nice to see new names. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little curve in there. And then another one doing in it. There we go. This Quite wide going to a point there. And then I'm going to fill this space with bubbles. Keeping you guessing today. Where am I going with this? There we are. And then, of course, same this way. It's always nice to start in the middle because trying to create a bubble down here when you've got a space that's sort of not quite there, it's a little bit tricky. Okay. And then. I'm going to I'm going to fill these little gaps in but I know we've talked before if you struggle a bit to sort of do that don't worry about it leave them or you could fill it in with lines or more bubbles you don't have to colour it okay and then from here I'm going to bring out and put a little curl in and this side out and a little curl in and then I'm gonna follow this sort of curve here down, go underneath and back up and round. So you see here, I've got to sort of imagine it for a little bit and then up and round, okay? I'm just gonna work from the top there and I'm gonna give myself a little bit of an aura around that shape. So I'm just following the line that I've drawn before. Let's have a look at that. So we've done that tangle before in a simple format. We've just sort of changed it a little bit and got this uh, crazy shape going on. So, okay, let's have a go at, uh, put another one of those in there. So I'm gonna bring a curve 
See, I'm making it a little bit wider at the base, coming into nothing to the point there. And then let's have a bubble in the middle of it. And then, see, it's easier, isn't it, to sort of work down towards the point there. And then, of course, along to that sort of end bit. Just makes life easier for you. There we go. So again, up and then a little curve. And up and another little curve. See, it goes underneath. I'm just imagining where it's going to go. Oh, Pat, yes, this is definitely your thing, isn't it? I can imagine that fairies coming out of this and all sorts. Bit of a mixture later, maybe. And then, of course, again, I'm just going to add that extra line around it. And again, you could fill that with bubbles if you like, all sorts of things. It's entirely up to you. Okay, I'm going to put another one of those in. I'm going to bring it down this side here. And it's sort of going to come out and along here. There we go. All right. <laughs> Now I do, I love seeing all the work that you're posting. It's uh, it's really refreshing, it's lovely to see. And again, I've, I've said it before, how helpful you are to people who post there. Because of course on the, on the Santangle group page, it's all about posting something to ask for advice maybe, or you know, if you've got a question, ask away. And it's nice that there's... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it does a little bit, yeah, I suppose. But yeah, well, there's, that is going to be a gem. But yeah, it's nice that, you know, we can all help each other. It's great. There we are. Same again. There we are. Point there. And then, of course, I'm just going to come on down and fill in. There we go. A little bit of a outline there. All right. Okay. Oh, Bernadette, that's not good to hear. Leslie's not feeling too well today either, bless her. Okay, so here we go. Let's have a look at this space here. So I'm going to come, I'm going to start, I've got quite a bit of area here. So I'm going to start, start here. And I'm going to create a curve. But I'm going to actually put a bubble on the side there. Okay, it's not an antenna. <laughs> and then let's just bring it down. See, and I'm going to add a couple of little stripes in, and then just to make the stripe, I'm just going to fill it in there, okay? So I'm now going to go on this edge and I'm going to create a little bit of a background shape there, and then back again. Run around. So you see, I'm just going to keep that going. I'm just following it through till I can't do it anymore. It's getting smaller and smaller. I'm still trying to aim it towards that point there. So you see, you're getting this lovely sort of curved shape. Okay. Is this something we've done? We've done something like that before. So it's not going to be anything seriously different. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. Here we go. And I'm going to come on in and just fill in the middle there. So let's do a little aura first and then I'm just going to fill in that space. Okay, oh, let's do this one while I'm at it. Okay, so this is where, you know, if you've got your the thicker pen you can come in. I'm not going to work on the brush for something at the moment, but there we are. Same with this one. You see, I've just sort of gone in with the larger ones there. So, so let's have a look at that then. There we are. See, I've done the four larger ones and I've just done that one. If you want to do these as well, let's do these as well. Go on, let's sort of throw the ideas out the window and just go with what we think at the time. There we are. Okay, it's changing it up a little, isn't it? Okay, so let's do another one of these. Let's go this way this time. There we are. Round to create that little bubble on the end. And then again, let's just come on in and fill that space in. All right. 
So then a little bit on the side there. And then each time, see I'm still aiming towards that point or the same point at the bottom there. But uh, just keep, uh, keep going till you can't do any more. Okay, same on this one. Let's do another. I'm going to go this way this time. There we are. I mean, you can go all the same way if you want to. You can mix it up a little. You don't have to do it the same way as mine. It's, it's fine. And then along and down. Okay, same again. All right. And of course, if you feel like you're not using pastels later, you could always come in and do the, <laughs> the sort of the dotty design that we did. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let's not forget our little sort of striped bit there. See, I'm too keen to get on with everything else and yeah, I need to come back and focus on what on earth it is I'm doing. There we go. Just gives it that, that front a little bit of impact. There we are. So let's uh, put one in here. Have a little look one in here going that way. And then again, just let's fill that a bit in there. Let's bring that down and put my stripes in. They're really lovely, aren't they? They're giving it a little bit of movement. I think it's kind of nice just to see where we are headed with this. There we are. Oh, Karen, that's a fair point. I, I did uh, say this morning, actually, I was going to email the guy. Say, hey, what's going on? Do you really want to see it? Me waffling over <laughs> what I like or don't like. I, I think I, every time I see it on Creating Craft, I'm going to have to turn it off. Oh, I never watch back. I don't. It's. Uh, I suppose I should, but I don't. I can't do it. <laughs> I can remember when I, uh, I first I did some teacher training a lot of years ago when I, I used to teach people how to play keyboard. And I went down to uh, Yamaha training and they videoed us teaching a class and I, I was absolutely aghast. <laughs> oh dear. And of course, teaching in schools on occasion, they do bring out the video cameras, don't they? And they say, oh, we're gonna, gonna video this so you can watch it back and you, like, you look on with horror and you think, no, don't do that to me. So I don't think about it when I'm there. I just look at the cameras and it's like I'm speaking to you like I am now. But instead of looking down a camera, I'm looking the other way. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. I don't see it as TV. It's, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit surreal. I, I absolutely love it though, I do. And uh, I love it when you send your pictures in and they show them. It's just like we're all having a conversation together. It's great. And then, of course, we've got to hold Dave to what he said last time because he said he was going to come for a class, didn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Rosie, they, don't, haven't they done some research about, uh, you know, hearing your own voice and uh, playing it back on a recording? Sure they have. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to have a look now at these two shapes we've done here. So I'm going to just do a, a little bit of an aura. So I'm just going to draw, I'm going to follow the line a little bit in terms of where we're going. There we go. Okay. No matter if they're not the same, it's fine. Oh, Chris, I know. Luckily, I don't have any videos like that. It's, uh, it's not good. There's nothing out there that I think, I don't think so, any, that could, <laughs> could embarrass me. Uh, oh, yeah, you and me both, Janet. To be honest, it, it, it's a little bit of a, a thing, isn't it? Because nobody, <laughs> we don't ever know what time we're on. So if somebody said before what time you're on, you could tell it's such a clock. But now you're like, is it three? Is it half past? Is it quarter two? I have no idea. 
even when I'm there and they say, what time are you on? And I really don't have a clue, I really don't. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's as it is. And, yeah, boring, I know, it's funny, isn't it? But I think you've videoed everywhere now, aren't you? So, uh, you know, whether you're, um, whether you're at home, you know, and you just sort of walk out to the shops, whether you go around the town, we're all on CCTV somewhere. So, yeah, beware. <laughs> Even now, I don't know, you know, cameras on the, video cameras on the cars. So, you know, as you're driving past somebody, they, you know, yeah. Anyway, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just I'm putting some lines in, but they're not all having to touch the side there. It's sort of giving it a little bit of a, sort of a different edge. They don't all have to join. So, uh, you know, just sort of work your way around it. It's going to be quite um, an organic tile today. It's going to just flow. And of course, things aren't going to be the same as mine because you're going to have, have put your leaves in slightly different places. So, uh, don't try and replicate. Just sort of let, your, your, let, it, let it be free. Just see where it goes. Okay. So then that's, uh, I'm going to put another one like in the middle here. Okay, let's do the same this side. All right. And then I'm going to just sort of come off and do a sort of another one on this side. Okay. And another one on this side. And same here. All these extra little bits just add to the uh, the interest and it just sort of builds up that detail so it's kind of nice to do just sort of working with little bits as you go so I'm just going to add in a bubble there and then a smaller if you can fit one in a smaller one I'm going to do the same here there we go bubble smaller and smaller so just to sort of differentiate a little bit from these again we want a little bit of design in here i'm going to just add an inner row of bubbles it sort of counterbalances those stripes just to sort of give it something see how small they are and again i'm not striving for them to all be the same i'm just i just want them to touch they're just close to each other okay Working its way down, just there's no need to rush these. I think I do bubbles in my sleep, so if I'm going a little bit quick, please don't think you've got to keep up with me. It's going to take my time, but so my my taking my time, uh, it might look like <laughs> I'm speed <laughs> tangling, but I'm not honestly. It's uh, just my pace. There we go. All right, it's almost there with that one. And then same on this one. I think with this, it's kind of nice to show that you can have two similar shapes, but they can look a little bit different. So these sort of are more petal-like. And then, of course, the, the ones with the curves in there are looking a little, a little more leaf-like. And, and just by changing a few things, it just sort of enhances elements and it makes one look more like something than the other so here we go just sort of working my way down there it says it's going to be warm this weekend apparently it's could be 20 degrees so uh, don't want to be uh, out in the sun too long if you can help it okay you see I put a bit of a curve coming off there it's going to bring it down do the same this side I'll say the same, it doesn't have to be exactly. And then another. You see how we've got the same sort of curved shape going, but we're just working it down. See, that's going to go behind there. And it's almost like there's seriously a pattern repeating, isn't there, where it just keeps working its way 
along. So again, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna put much in here. I'm just gonna add a couple of little lines, just so you can get a little bit of definition there. All right. Now I could have done these before I did the leaves, but you see now you've got this sort of differentiation between backwards and forwards. And now same here. It's gonna. These are gonna look like the in the background. So you think, well, okay, that flower should all be, oh, sorry, should all be in the foreground, but this is a tangle, so nothing is what it seems. Okay, so let's have some little lines there too, there we go. All right, let's see where we're at then. Okay, coming on in. Okay, so, so far we've got a little bit of a different side by side. Um, we've got a few, you know a few different bits and pieces on there, so uh, let's uh, let's bring a little bit of a flourish in. So again, keeping things similar-ish. I'm trying to curl with a bubble. Let's again fill in that bubble there, and then I'm just going to work my way round again an aura around the whole of that line or that shape. And then it gets a little hat. We're going to have to call them sun hats. And then a smaller one. And a smaller. And a smaller. And a smaller. There we go. And then here. Oh, do you know, you want to be working in the, this unit. We could still have a cardigan on and it'd still feel a bit cool. So, yeah. Not for much longer. But yeah, it can it can be really hot outside and it's still cold in here. It's, it's not changed. <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of a curve with a blob on the end. Colour your blob in. There we are. Let's have another one there. Okay, see? Coming out there. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to bring one out here. So again, it's before. There we are. It's that curl with that bubble. It's, it's amazing when something starts the same, when you think we've done, this is started the same as this. But just by then changing how you actually react to that initial line or drawing, it creates something completely different. There we go. And uh, I'm going to put one here. Yeah, I'm going to have one. I'm not going to sort of do it all the way around because I want to add a couple of other bits and pieces first. There we go. And of course you could always do a few and then um, come back to it and add more later. <laughs> Is that right, Piv? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they mean it as a compliment. <laughs> okay. So you see here, I'm, I'm going to actually add in a slightly, slightly larger bubble this time. So I've sort of sketched it a bit. And then I'm going to do another. Alright. Okay, I don't like my bubbles, but these are a little bit big, aren't they? Like, what on earth is she doing? Okay, so let's just come a little bit larger with these. See, I know, again, they're never, they're never perfect. It's always that kind of, see how it goes. There we go. See, just filling in. So now I can bring in my little brush and just fill in the middles. You can do this with your regular pen, but you know when it's it's, it's a bit of a bigger space, it's a, it has to come in with a thicker pen. Okay. All right. So there we go. Oh, did somebody ask me about my board? Oh, don't know. Still can't find it anywhere. I can't, I can't, I don't know. I don't know where I've left it. But wherever it is, I'm sure it's having a great time. <laughs> so look, I could just come on in and colour that. I have actually chosen a new board, but um, I've not drawn on it yet. I've been a little bit busy. 
Is that an understatement, Leslie? Definitely an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love what we do. The glamorous world of crafting. <laughs> she says in a cardigan. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> Here we go. So just uh, <laughs> she does make me laugh. It's when we, we, we mentioned, I'm sure it was last week. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about, you know, accident books and places where you work. And I think our accident book for, for Leslie would be Broken Nail. Hmm. I was like, how would you put broken? Do you have to put broken nail down? <laughs> and the accident book. <laughs> oh, see, look, we're starting me off now. It's a dog bit, it's funny. Okay, I'm I'm hoping it is Louise, but you know what? It it's fine. It's um, yeah. If if it's if it's gone, it's it's gone for a reason. It's obviously time to do a new one. Um, it'll it'll turn up at some point, I'm sure. But um, I I say I will this weekend. I'm gonna try and get something drawn up on a new board. So at least on Monday, when I get to the show, I'll be able to. Uh, you know, have a, have a board with something on it. Uh, this is actually my office one. This is the little travel one. I said, well, it's not the travel one. It's bigger than that. This is a small board, not the mini one. That's what I'm trying to say. So I have got to, I've got this one as well to do. <laughs> so, okay. So yeah, so we've got these sort of real different things going on now. And you see why I've sort of stopped and started in places. I've not added too many of these because I wanted to bring some of these in. But sort of looking at it now, let's have a look. See, I can actually now bring, a, I could bring another one of these in if I wanted to. I could go, you know, let's go a little bit larger. But if I didn't want to, and I wanted to, to just sort of keep this bit with them. Um, see, there, see, see, colouring this with a, a thinner pen, it, you know, you've got to go across it a couple of times. And so, so bringing that, that bigger pen in. Oh, I'll go and do the little shape in a minute there we are see so that that's gonna go underneath there and let's just put my little stripey bit in there we are see it says nothing's ever set in stone just because you've finished one tangle and moved on to the other it doesn't mean you can't come back to it and add a little bit more or do a different tangle in there See, now we can have one of these sort of sneaking out, just looking from the side there. There we go. Little hat on. And then let's have a little bit of a... See, that's going to go underneath there. You're not going to see all of that. Okay. So let's have a look. There we go. So let's... Uh, Let's have a look at it and see where we where we're coming with it. I think um I don't know, maybe maybe just on the edge here, just a couple of those larger bubbles. Oh yes, it's great because you can just sort of work it into how, you know, what the shape sort of suits you. Okay. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter. You can do as little or as, as much as you like. You can completely crowd it or you can just do a bit and leave it. But of course, the the proof is in what we're going to do with it once we've um, added some colour. Let's, let's have a quick look at these here. What I'm going to do in this bit here, I'm going to go a little bit larger. There we go. I'm just going to add just a couple of little lines. See, and that all that's going to do is just going to help with the shading a little bit in there, and it's just going to give it a bit more sort of darkness because we've got a bit more black in. Oh, Joanne, yeah, maybe so. Maybe this is what I'm going to put on my new board. Maybe I've been waiting for this moment. Who knows? Okay, all right, shall we get some color onto it? Now, again, if you want to just use pencil and go with it without colour, that's absolutely fine. 
But I'm, uh, I'm feeling colour today and I'm feeling bits of everything. So here we go. I've got my, uh, I've got a bit of magenta colour. Here we go, look. A bit of reds and a bit of orange. Uh, oh, a nice thing I'm... Uh, hmm. Oh, the cup of tea. I'm taking to, to air on uh, Monday. Some really nice watercolours. They're, they're not irregular watercolours, they're metallic and pearlescent. So you have to see what you think of those. Okay, so you see here I've got my, sort of my I'd say my darkest colour. And I've added a little bit more around this side here than I have at the side. You see it's getting thinner and then gone to nothing. So again, um, in with the red. I'm just going to sort of bring a bit of red in around the edges. Remember, when you're working with pastels, it, you don't have to put as much on. Okay, so here we go. A bit of orange. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a touch of my white, just to remind me that it needs a bit of a highlight. It's going to go in the middle there. Okay. You notice that the little aura around the outside I've not touched, I've left that. And I'm going to come back and put a darker colour on afterwards but for now i'm just going to leave it at that and then um yeah i think i'm going to go with i'm probably going to go back in with just regular pencil for now and add in some pencil here around the back here see i've left that line just as a bit of contrast i think at times you, you've got to look at what you want your tile to show where is the main feature what is it you're wanting to sort of, uh, you know, be your focal point? And in this case, it's going to be this and, and this little bit in here. So you see, I've not really uh, put pencil in there, but I have around the outside edge. And I have a little bit in there. A little bit in there. Okay. This is going to be interesting, isn't it? Once uh, we blend it out with the tortillon. See, in there, I've been quite sort of heavy with that, so. Okay. Now, of course, it depends on what paper you're using uh, as to how heavy you want to go with your pencil. So I'm just going to go down the sides of that because uh, some of it's going to blend better than others, but, of course, as only you knows that. If you're not sure, just do a quick test on the back before you... You get carried away with all this graphite. There we are. Okay, I'm going to do that leaf there as well. So you see, I've just put some along there. Okay, I've not really gone into uh, into this extra line around the outside either. I've just put a little bit. In. There we go, on the edges there. And I I love mixing the regular pencil with colour. I just think it looks amazing when it's done. Just gonna add a little bit there. And then of course I'm coming round those sides. So just a little bit on the top. A bit either side of that stripe. Ah oh, Barbara it doesn't matter if you've used pastels for this, that's fine. You're gonna use you know those in exactly the same way that uh, I'm using the pencils, just that yours are going to be colour and mine are pencil. It's fine. And more little stripes there. Can't really get much pencil in there. That's okay. That's a little bit. There we go. I think this is the thing as well. When you go organic like this, and it really doesn't matter where you put your shading. It's just going to look fabulous. This is just going to enhance what's already there. So. There's no rush. Okay, so there's my sort of my pencil. Now I'm sort of holding off with this and I'm not using the tortillon just yet. I'm going to come in. I've got a bit of yellow here. And you know I left this top section here. So I'm going to add some yellow to that top section. So you see now I'm, I'm choosing what's going to stand out. I'm going to bring um, a touch of orange in there as well just so we can mix something. Again, it looks a bit tatty around the edges at the minute, but I'm not worried about that. And then uh, let's go in with a touch of green. Okay, so you see where uh, I left that line? I'm just going to add a 
touch of green at the base. See, just a little bit. I'm not going to overdo it. Okay. So that's sort of where we're at. I say it looks really rough at the minute. Um, there we go. All right. So now tortillon. Um, great thing with this is, of course, in an ideal world, it would be lovely to have a tortillon for every colour. And sometimes I do have, but then they all end up looking like the same colour. But that's not a problem, um, because if you've got just a regular little nail file, we can sort the tortillon. See, at the moment, it's got a little bit of blue and red on it. So if I just come on with the tortillon and look in the file and just literally, see, I'm starting here and going across bank with it. And just sort of do it as, as, you know, as though it's at a point. What it's actually going to do is remove that layer where that colour is. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to start. I'm not going to do the pencil yet. I'm going to do the colour first. So I'm just very, very gently going in circular motions around near where the white is. I'm going to put that bit of white in. So I'm just helping to just blend that colour a little bit into the white. You see? And then, of course, I can come round and I can do the darker. So I'm just sort of pushing the pastel bit into the, the page. But if you've done this in a regular pencil, you do it in the same way. Very light pressure. Now this is probably going to take a couple of layers because when you, you're creating a gem you need to just work it up a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to leave that at that. And while I've got this colour on, I'm going to come in with this orange here and just sort of pull the orange down to the paper. You see I'm almost sort of scraping it through and in. Okay, same with this one. Just get it going like, and then just in, push it in. Okay, so that's this one. So you now, you see I've got quite a bit of sort of orange on my tortillon. So if I come on in again, I'm just gonna clean that off. There we go. Just before I go in and just touch up this green. So again, I'm just gonna pull this green out a bit. I don't want a load of color there. I just want a little bit that's just gonna you know, show the difference between the petals and the uh, the leaves. There we are. Okay. All right, so I can come back and I can add to that in a little bit. It's, it's absolutely fine. But again, I'm just going to file that bit of green off. So now I can come in and, and work on the pencil that I put in place there. So again, now I can just sort of use it in the same way you can see how it just sort of works its way down the shape and then from here up. And I'm going to try and leave a little bit of a gap of white in the middle there. That's the idea. Again, let's just pull this. See, this is going to come in touch. Maybe that yellow a bit. There we go. This one now is just going to ease in. Same with that side. Okay. So of course, if you wanted to, you could have done that in um, in colour. You could have just worked in with your pastels. You notice, well, I've not actually done anything with my bubbles yet. I've not a hundred percent decided whether I want to do them in colour or whether I want to do them in pencil. Like I want to sort of see how it's going, and then I'll make my decision. Okay. All right. Same here. Just sort of come all the way down. Okay. You see, I'm working sort of petals first, and then I'll go into leaves, and then I'll go on to flourishes. It's you know you could work in one section at a time if you want, but I kind of like to work sort of systematically. But it really doesn't matter. So whatever mood you're in. There we go. So we're starting to get a little bit of uh, definition now, aren't we, with 
sort of adding that bit of shade now. It's certainly making a difference. And I'm sure it will to yours too. It looked really busy and there's a lot of lines before. But now it's starting to sort of get some definition. Let's do it there. And that certainly makes a difference. There we are. Same on this one. You see, if you wanted to sort of go a bit lighter with your, your pencil and then add it in, a, a, you know, just keep adding it, it's, it's fine. That uh, works really well, especially if you're not sure of your paper. It's only when you're a little bit more confident, you know how much pencil your paper will take. That's the, uh, that's the, the time to just go straight in. So don't be afraid to build it up and uh, see where it leads. Okay, so here now, see the areas are not as large and I'm wanting to keep a little bit of white on, you see on the edges? There we go, just sort of taking my time. Okay, let me just sort of go a bit bigger there so you can see it. So you see I've not, I've not seriously come across, I've got, I've certainly got some paper still. There we are. Rose, I had to be the email about my ten pound as well when I it was my birthday because I'm a craft, creating craft member. As you well know, I'm a, a I'm quite a, a I have a soft touch for uh, tonic for memory books, and I do have a <laughs> have a lot of the dies. And I keep saying I'm going to make a memory book. I'm going to do it. And I'm sure you've seen one that I do take on quite a bit. So at least I've got some few, you know, some bits in some of the pages. But uh, love to, to sort of make a tangling memory book, you know. And I'm, I know there's a couple of you out there that's already done that. So um, yeah, that's my that's my aim when I when I get a day off. Uh, <laughs> but not this weekend. I have brought the, was it the most recent one, you know, with the tassel and the rosette in it? Yeah, I really want to have a go at that. <laughs> but, uh, absolutely. Okay, see I'm just adding a little bit either side. I'm not really going into much detail with it because they're quite small and you're not going to get the whole thing in there anyway. <laughs> I know, we day off. I did have a day off once. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't remember when. We did say we were going to have a, a bank holiday off and Leslie and I have both got oh, a little kit, of a sewing kit that we were going to do and you know she was going to work on her sewing machine at home and I was going to work on mine at my house and so we've, we've got this sort of, say a matching kit, it's the same but different <laughs> but we haven't quite got around to doing it yet. <laughs> okay, couple of bits then of course. Um, I want to put a little bit more onto my, my gem. So I'm going to come back in and add a bit more of that magenta. See how you just see it'll need to build it a bit. And then of course I want to add a little bit um to these little petals on the inside as well. See? See look how look, that red's just made a difference. Well magenta has made a difference. So I'm going to come in with orange and just touch the orange at the top there. And then of course a little bit of yellow, but I can, you know, if you want to just do this in pencil, well, I, I, you know, now I've looked at it and I think, do you know what, I, yeah, a little bit more colour, I can, I can get away with that. So of course my little bubbles on my leaves, I'm going to use a touch of green just to add that little extra accent to them. Just to sort of say, yes, here I am, I'm a leaf. So let's, uh, let's come on in with my torty on for that. So let's just put that red up this way. And then down that way. Okay. Bit of orange there, sort of bit, it's got a bit rogue. There we are. Let me 
again. Um, it's only just sort of touching the green, so there we go, little bits there. So I'm going to just bring in a white, um, shall I do my gel pen yet? Yeah, I'm going to bring a white gel pen in. I'm sure you've got one sat in, sat in there. Oh, Joanne, I am a, a serious Disney fan. I mean, serious Disney fan. And uh, I, I do like some of the dyes, I really do. So here we go. Look, I'm just adding a little bit of a highlight on, you see, just a bit of a line. Okay, there we are. So see, look, just sort of a little, little mark. Of course, if you've got a larger one, you could come on in and you could add a couple. So you see here where I've actually gone over and it's not got a, quite a, a white line around it, I can come on in now and just sort of work that up a little bit. So I've got something working all right so whilst I'm sort of at this point with these little highlights I can come in and put my line down the center I'm going to do the same with those two you see it just gives it that highlight and then again I didn't let's see that one's a bit thin get away with that okay a little highlight in oh sorry I was doing the same there as those there we go. I'm not worried about whether they're all facing the same way or where the light's coming from. It's really fine, doesn't matter. See, that's quite big, so I'm going to put a couple in. Oh, just one where it's small. There we are. Same here, look, just a line up there. So any of these little black bubbles, um, just put in a little bit of a line in and then of course this one here I'm just gonna put a line up the center let's have a look so of course all bubbles don't line up the center there now oh, I missed one oh, are you rose oh that's fabulous it's a lovely one to do actually okay, let's have a look at that because we're almost there almost okay so you notice that I, I didn't actually um, come on in and I've got some red now look, and blend this in the middle because sometimes it doesn't need it but I'm just coming back in with the colors you see now how much darker that's starting to look and then of course a bit of my white there so, you, you know, build it up in little layers. Don't think you've got to do it all in one go. And I'll come back and blend that in a minute. But I just want to bring in some black. Of course, still with the pastels. And I'm just going to add a little bit around this section here. Let's see what you see the difference. Hang on a second. Just adding that in there. See, I'm just sort of zigzagging, little small zigzags. You see? There compared to this one here. So let's just do the same there. Now, if you go over these with the, with the black, don't worry. We'll blend them out and then you can go over it again with a white gel pen. It sort of cuts that off for you. So it just gives that little bit more sort of depth around there. And again, I'm just going to add a little bit around there so you can you know you see, definitely have this facing forward okay tortillon now before i actually get up i don't even with the black i'm just gonna come on in and just you know just soften that color a bit just blend those colors in i've done again it's a, an extra layer there we go see i've got now a bit of red i'm just gonna wipe that off and then just with this bit of black here, just, I'm not trying to pull it completely. I'm just wanting to soften the edge of it. So it doesn't look like I've just put it on and left it. It's definitely got a bit of a blend into that pencil. So I'm not going to make it out too much. It's just almost giving it a little bit of a soften. That's all I'm doing. Okay. A bit of a blow. It's ready those bits okay let's have a look at this 
All right. You see the difference now where you've got that extra bit of black in there? Yeah. I think we just do need to come in just with a touch more green on these leaves. You see, you can build up. I could have even come in with a yellow or different green. But it's like I'm really focused on, you know, cert just certain elements being the main sort of feature. And everything else, it sort of fades a bit. So now we've got depth. We've not got everything at the same level. And it sort of works itself across the page a little bit more. And of course, we could do a bit more here. Let's, for example, I'm going to bring in um, touch of, and usually I do bring in purple, but I think this time I'm just going to bring in a touch of blue, just on this top edge. Now, you'll find when you, you're colouring and you're trying to add more depth, if you keep on with the same colour, you won't notice a difference. So you see the blue there? If I'd have done red, you wouldn't really have noticed it. So what I'm going to do now is just very very small circles just work my way around it there we go okay can you see the difference there just adding that touch of blue okay really julie gosh what he's doing there so okay let's have a look at this it's uh, yeah Goodness me, what a, uh, what a difference. Are you think an hour ago that was just a plain piece of paper? It's, uh, it's time now, I think, just to put my signature on it and uh, leave it at that. All that. I mean, you could, by all means, come in and add more bubbles. You could, you know, add in more colours, more of the zinger things. But I think that's probably um, enough to sort of go on with, isn't it? And, of course, we've got just a couple minutes. I'm just going to move my... My pastel's out of the way and I can, uh, I can give you a quick show of these new stencils. Now I did say I have got some little samples here. That the, um, I will, I have took photos so I will put them on the, the Facebook page. But if I just move this out of the way just for a second, uh, have a look at these. Okay. And that, oh, this one's arrived this morning, Re. Look at this one. Okay, do you see a bit of a theme coming on here? <laughs> Definitely Christmas, but here we go. All right, so what do we have? Look at this. Um, another. So you can, you can tell if you've brought the concept one and two, you'd know exactly what they are. I just want to show you one more. Look at this. Yeah, so, oh my word, they're lovely. So what do we, what have we got? I've obviously, you know, I've obviously got um, a bit of a snowflake going on theme there. And, you know, you can go really small. You can get quite big if you want to. And then, of course, I've got the new concept, which for Christmas is giving you a few little bits and pieces there. So, yeah, of course, new Christmas tile colours of course, which I haven't got here today, but it's a cherry red and an emerald, which are really lovely colours. I think the cherry red you've probably seen before, but the emerald you definitely haven't. And of course, we've got the uh, the watercolours. Uh, lovely, lovely they are, but yeah. I'm <laughs> so cool for a bauble on the tree. <laughs> but yeah, I've got lots of, you know, I've got lots of things in my head that I want to sort of show you. Yeah, lovely, lovely samples and things so thanks to girls for them you know who you are so yeah we'll uh we'll sort that we'll look a little bit more at that on monday but for now you know have a look at your time oh do you know what looking at this time imagine doing this as a flower and having these all the way around that could look pretty fabulous certainly if you're thinking of doing a full page on it so yeah absolutely so have fun with this one you have got all weekend to play with it and see how it goes and then uh, if all being well, you, you know, you fancy watching on, on uh, Monday, I will put the times. I think it's like half past ten and three-ish, something like that. So, uh, yeah, that'd be lovely if you can be with me there. But uh, you, you never know, Christine. It, it might save me a journey. <laughs> but, yeah, all being well, I'll see you then. Um, of course, 
If not, not a problem. I will see you back here for tile number 147 on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. So have a lovely weekend and I will see you all soon. You take care, everybody. Bye.